Ah, there you are again. Tonight got something a little bit different. Last week we had the lights, which um, seemed to be fairly well received. This week we're talking about uh, tablets and in fact specifically Chromebooks. So I've been very used to using Chromebooks. Um, I've had this little Lenovo C330 for some time, which is one of those uh, kind of tent mode ones. It's a convertible, it's known as, so touch screen. Um, you can use it as a tablet. You can fold the keyboard away and it just de deactivates it. Or you can stand it up rather like an iPad. So pretty good. Um, in fact, overall, I'm really pleased with it because I do like Chromebooks. I like the simplicity of them. I really like the long battery life and the speed. You just switch them on and they're there, which Windows machines, it seems to be half the time you're waiting for an update to install. Um, so yeah, Chromebooks, a total convert on them. I've been using and trying to use for work um, iPads for a while. Here's one with a little Belkin keyboard, so it makes a nice little unit. This isn't the one with the trackpad, which you can get because iOS now supports um, the trackpad. But um, again, it's uh, never really quite worked out. There's things about iOS that I just find a little bit too restricting. Um, it's definitely more open on the Chromebook um, or even on an Android tablet. Uh, I've also got to compare here tonight just before I show you what this is really about. Um, I've also got the Surface Go, which is the new version of the Surface Go, which is again, if you're into a Windows machine, which I do need for some of the more major tasks, um, this is an ideal little unit, but I'll cover that in a, in a separate little review. Um, this comes with a kickstand on the back and a nice keyboard cover, but you're talking really kind of circa 600 pounds for this model. But um, Enough of that and on to the real reason I've kind of got you here and hopefully your attention. It's the new Lenovo Duet. And it goes by a number of names actually. So it's uh, the Lenovo ThinkPad Duet uh, or Duet Chromebook. If you took the whole name you probably would run out of characters but um, it's a very neat little 10.1 inch tablet. Um, just like all the rest of them, any of the touchscreen machines this screen is just a fingerprint magnet and this is no exception but nonetheless it's a very neat little tablet very compact super fast super battery life as you would expect but in the bundle it comes with a nice little stand to go on the, or uh, cover to go on the back which has got a cutout for the camera and that is secured magnetically I wouldn't say this is overly strong I mean you can hold it and it doesn't drop away but I wouldn't want to give it any kind of vibration or trust to think that it wouldn't slip out in between the cover but it's got a little fold out stand on the back which go like that just to set to the whichever angle you like very nice but it also comes in the box with a keyboard now on the Surface Go that you saw just now you pay best part of a hundred pound for that keyboard additionally over the price of the tablet this little unit comes in the box seems very good value and um, that just magnetically clicks to it just like it does again on the surface tablet and a bit different on the belkin for the ipad it clicks into the back of it and it's magnetically gripped so you can get it to whichever angle you like but in fact actually the the range of angles is nowhere near as good as that of the surface and of the duet all of this though comes in at 279 pound which is an absolute bargain so nice and compact very fast as with all chromebooks it seems um, and a decent keyboard and mouse i'll give you some pictures in a minute or we'll pop them up on the screen of the tablets next to each other so you can get an idea of the sizes but in reality they're almost identical um, this one has as does the go has a full hd screen really nice and bright this is actually the brightest at 400 nits um, but really nice keyboard as well it's a bit of a bargain I'll, uh, I'll read through some of the specs in a minute so it's got a MediaTek Helio P60T processor which is really really quick on standby I've left it for two days and it's gone down by about three percent on the battery um, it, they quote about 10 hours. I've not done an exhaustive test yet, but um, I will and I'll feed those figures back and perhaps update it in the um, in the description underneath. But certainly throughout today it's been on. I've had YouTube videos playing in the background. I've done some emails while working on my main laptop and um, absolutely fine. And we're still at 80% uh, 
So um, admittedly, some of the stuff when it's been playing has just been with the screen off. But um, again, if you get seven, six, seven hours out of it, I think that's really, really good on something so small. Um, the one thing that's a bit restricting on this is the ports, or the ports that you have on it. Uh, the controls and I think are really minimal. It's got two nice stereo speakers and looking at some of the other reviews on YouTube, they've criticised it for being very tinny, but actually I've been listening to some uh, talking book things today and I think it sounds really good, sounds, sounds fine. I mean, it's still a slim, simple little tablet. Maybe not up to the standard of the iPad mini, which is quite remarkable for the size of, of, of the unit, but again, it's also cheaper. Um, so two speakers on it, uh, two microphones as well, a pretty decent 2 megapixel front camera and 8 rear. Again, uh, nothing, to, nothing to compare to an iPhone, say, but absolutely fine for things like Teams or Zoom or one of those other sort of social media type things. Um, on the side we've got a rocker control for the volume, and a power switch or standby switch and a single USB-C port. So this is probably where the biggest problem could potentially be for people. But considering this keyboard and mouse connect to it magnetically and don't need to use Bluetooth or anything like that, there's um, a multi-pin adapter connected down at the bottom. It's minimal things that you need to plug into it. You could connect a Bluetooth mouse if you wanted to have a full mouse, I'd recommend that anyway. Um, but the USB-C is used for power. Uh, image out to an external monitor, may be able to demonstrate that in a minute, um, or you could plug into it, and this would be the only way you'd have additional storage on it, you could plug in um, a USB storage device of some kind, again something along the lines of a, a memory stick or even a small SSD drive or something like that powered from it. Again, for the price and for the capabilities of what you might choose to do with um, a, a, a Chromebook, I think actually the minute the one port is you know a small price to pay such a long battery life i was certainly able to um run it on charge for a while from a power pack to see how that charged and that charged really well but in order of um i think it's yeah seven thousand milliamp hour battery in it it's a chunky battery for a tablet this size um it also comes with a 10 watt charger um which seems nice and quick as well so all in all, this gets a major thumbs up for me. I'll drop some pictures in a minute with it uh, sitting next to the other tablets. As far as speed for Gmail and documents and things like that, superb. And games. I've run uh, a number of them on there and they're really, really quick. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I highly recommend it. I shall drop a link to it in the bottom and um, catch you next time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.